Hi guys, I just want to make a real quick video if you guys are stuck doing your taxes for your online ESL business. Um, I work for two companies, um, mostly VIP Kid, but also Magic Ears. But I did not make enough money with Magic Ears to um, worry about this. I think I taught like two classes last year. So yeah, so VIP Kid is my main income right here with, with my um, with my ESL business. So in order to do this, I do need to purchase the TurboTax self-employed. If you just use a regular TurboTax, it is not going to allow you to put all this information in there. And this actually, some years I just take the standard deduction, so I don't really itemize. But this year, I actually do qualify to be able to itemize things. So for me, it's super important to do all this stuff. Uh, okay, so I've already put in my actual income. They just asked me how much I made this year. I put that in there with, um, I'll just show you. Um, because they have the information for you, but yeah, the VIP Kids, E-I-N, this all came from a form that they gave me. So anyways, I just filled out everything there. But the cool part is down here, all the expenses from the, the business. Okay, so first, and I'm just gonna do easy and then go to hard. So start from the very bottom and go up. Legal and professional fees. I actually do use the, the money that I spent for TurboTax. I actually do use that as a write-off. Um, this actually is from not, not this year's TurboTax. It's actually from 2019's TurboTax. So that's why this year I got a discount. VIP Kid gave us like a discount on, um, TurboTax, but that's for last year's expenses. All right. Supplies. All right. So last, okay. So I'm just going to show you like 2018. I actually, um, let me go back here. Yeah, 2018, I ended up spending a lot more money on my supplies than I did this year. I actually bought a computer and like a monitor and a headset. I bought so many things last year. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place. But yeah, I'm looking at the supplies right here. Last year, I spent $913. Yeah, <laughs> this year, only $113 was spent on my supplies. But if you go to edit on this one, like I just wrote down what that was. I bought a pack of markers. I bought a photography backdrop and I did, oh, this is the year I bought the other headphones, yeah. So that was $113. I actually probably spent more than that, but I don't have any receipts for it. So if you keep all your re receipts or you have a, a paper trail like using Amazon, you can definitely put everything in here that was, okay, basically it has to be used specifically for the ESL business. So if you use it for more than one thing, I guess it doesn't really count. But if it's used specifically just for VIP kid, it does count or your ESL business. Um, one thing that does not count for us is if you bought orange shirts, that does not count apparently because it's not really required at all for our job. Yeah, that's true. We're not required to wear orange shirts. So yeah. Also lipstick. They don't count lipstick as being um, deductible so, or being deducted. So but yeah, like if it's props or something, like if I had bought um, like flashcards, you know, or like little whatever props, and I did buy a bunch of stuff. I just didn't, I didn't keep the receipts for everything. So 113, it's fine. Um, that was supplies. Assets, actually, I don't think that applies. So I, I never do that, but communications. Okay, this one's interesting. I kept it the same this year as it was last year because I do believe hey, it's the mommy. same. Yeah. So this one, I actually use my internet service. Okay, so I just basically what I do, this is an estimate. I look at how much I spent just on internet for the whole year, and then I think about what the percentage was most likely of being used for my online business. Uh, this one's kind of hard to, to gauge it. So um, that's why I just kind of think, you know, you have to look at your own internet usage and figure out the, to the best of your ability, how much percentage of your overall internet was used for VIP kids and how much was used for um, just, you know, browsing Facebook. So this one is a little bit tricky. Um, but I just went low, I lowballed it. I just said $72 and I think that's probably even like too low, but I didn't want them to like ask me to like prove it or whatever. So I'm like, yeah, I think I should still get some of that though for that. Yep. Okay, this is another one that 
does not always apply. For me, it did apply last year and this year. Home office. Last year, I you can see my numbers were higher last year. I, don't, I haven't even finished this year's because I'm still figuring this one out. This is what I really want to show you because it's interesting. Um, part of the year, see, I lived in three, three different places this last year. Two of them were an actual office. Literally, I was the only one in there. There was no other like furniture besides like my desk for my online ESL company, um, pretty much. And yeah, that room was only used for me and my job. So that's why it counts as a home office. But then there was this one part of the year where I taught from the, our TV room. So like there's a couch and a TV and there's like toys and there's a bunch of stuff in there. That was not a home office. So I, I cannot count that at all. There's, I can only count two places that I lived, and that was only for like um, five five months total. So anyways, I'm just going to show you. The first one I'm working on right now is my house. That I, um, so I had more than one in 2019. So it's asking me um, about where my two offices were. And yes, I moved. So it's two different houses. And none of these... Situations apply. I didn't share it with another person, and it's only used for my education work. But be careful, because if you actually click on this one right here, I use this for my education and another line of work. I don't think it lets you use it. Do you know what I mean? So, like, you have to only be using it for your work and not for something else. And that's in my case, that's true. I have my own computer. My husband has his own work computer too. We both have different computers that we use. Um, <clears throat> Okay, St. Anthony, yeah, so this is the name I gave it. It's just for my own reference. I have two. And I said, yes, yes, yes. I regularly use it, and it's my primary place of work. Yep, 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 yep. So it's saying I do qualify to use it as a home office. I told him the date that I started, which is actually 2017, and it was only three months back in my old house. And I put 95% of my work was done in this home office because it says, for some reason, it should be less than 100%. Truth be told, it should be 100%. But I put 95 because I do not want the IRS to question me about anything. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid like them asking me a bunch of questions about stuff. Okay, what was the size of the home office? So it was small. It was a little, little tiny, like almost like a closet. So I put the square footage and then my entire home square footage. So it, it's actually just... It will go ahead and calculate... It's not food. That's not food. It will go ahead and calculate. No, no, I can't look at that. Look. Oh, Sorry. So it's figuring out a percentage, basically. That's what it is. It's figuring out percentage of your home. Because you can deduct things. Um... Oh, okay. So you could use a simplified home office deduction, which is just where you don't have to have receipts or records. Um, hmm. Or you could do the actual expense. Ooh, okay. If you use the simplified method for one home office, you have to use the actual method for the other. Well, I do have two this year, so <laughs> um, I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'll just do the simplified for the first one because that was, turn it over. So I'll just like, yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, change. See, I saved $136, but I'm not done. Turn it over. You'll, the back side's blank. You can draw on it. Okay, it just kicked me back out again. So what I'm gonna do is go back in to home office again <laughs> and add another one. Yeah, okay. So it's asking me the same questions at last time and I'm just gonna basically answer the same questions anyway. So this one is where I live now. Both of them were in a basement. That's kind of funny. 
Yep. It qualifies. Woohoo. Sweet. Um, so I'm going to put down the date that I started using it. And was it the 16th? I think it was the 18th, actually. So I don't think October counts because it has to, yeah, see, so it doesn't count. So only two months of the year. Two months of the year because it's November and December. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to put 95% because I want that to be. What the heck? Oh, what? Why is it asking this? Oh, my goodness. This is so frustrating. You're rude. You're so rude. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, rude. Oh, wow. Percentage of expenses incurred at each home office. You're rude. It's so rude. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I have to figure out that. Hold on. I'll figure it out. Okay. So I figured it out. I figured out how much money I made when I was working in my first home office. That percentage was 24% of the money. And then how much money I made working at my, my the last one that I lived in, um, which was 17% of the money. And that equals 41% because, yeah, I spent – I told you I I, uh, I lived in a rental where it was not a basement it, or it was not a home office. It doesn't count. So that's why it's, you know, 41% total. Okay. So now it wants to know the percentages between the two homes. I'm going to put exactly the same numbers as I did before because that's exactly like <laughs> – it's like the amount of money I made is, is the same as the percentage of time that I work there. You know what I mean? Like it's the same thing. Oh, don't touch it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, sorry. What? It's doing this again? Why? The total should equal 100%. Oh, I get what they're trying to say. I'm dumb. Okay, let me figure out the percentages in relation to each other. Just a sec. Okay, so I took, okay, so I figured out that, um, you know, the first, okay, basically I figured out the percentages, I combined those two together, and then I took the percentage of the percentage. Okay, I'm, I'm confusing you. But anyways, basically, in relation to each other, how much percentage was that? Yeah, so I put 59 and 41. Because they're not counting that place that I lived at that didn't have a home office. They're just counting the two places I had a home office. So that's what, that's what that is. <laughs> okay. Right, I have to go figure this out. I have not measured my space downstairs, but I'm going to totally do this. The length times the width. Okay, I gotta go get like a, oh my gosh, I gotta go measure that. Just a second. Oh, okay, so I just took the length times width. I had to convert that to feet times that. Anyways, got the square footage. And then to find my entire home square footage, I had to actually Google that. You can look on like Zillow or you know one of those websites. It'll, it'll, it'll figure out the percentage. Okay, this is not going to let me do this. Okay, yeah, anyways, I have to take the actual expense for this one. This is more complicated. Yeah. So, guide me, please, TurboTax. I love it when they guide you. Yes. Okay, do you own or rent? And... Uh, oh, it just wants to know how much you spent in like the mortgage of it or whatever. Oh, mm. nope. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> Zero. What? I got to figure it out that one. Huh. I might change it just cause it'll be easier. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 7%, 7%, okay, all right, good, so I don't have specific expenses that apply only to the home office, um, actually one time I did, I made a bunch of re repairs to my last house, like a bunch of really big repairs, not like little things. And that actually counted because, like, I had to put in new carpets. There was no carpets. And then um, there were no baseboards. We had to put baseboards in. Uh, yeah, so those kinds of, like, major repairs and remodels, that's different. And I did actually do that in 2017, I think. Okay. The two places that I lived at, one of them I did not pay any mortgage interest. And the other one I did. 
So that's why, okay, the one that I did pay mortgage interest, I want to take the actual expense from that because I think I can make some money off that. But for the one that I did not spend any interest on, I'm going to use the simplified deduction. You see what I'm saying? So I can actually get more from that. So yes, yes, let's do it. Okay, guide me, please. Okay, so this is the old house I lived at, and it's going to be the first one. See, I spent $2,000 in mortgage interest versus the house I'm in now. I spent $0 last year. So yes, I want to include that one as, <laughs> as being more like itemized. It says I can take 3% of the expenses. I know it's not very much, but hey, you know, any dime counts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Sure. Okay. Well, anyways, I went back to the actual 1098 box five and it was only $347. Makes more sense now. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay. I don't have excess mortgage interest. Since I'm unsure about this real estate taxes crap, I'm going to skip it. Excess? Nope. Here we go. This is what I was trying to get, get to. The utilities, because you can for sure figure that out. Okay, I went to my electric company and found the bill statements for that, you know, January, February, March. And um, it was $285 total for electric for my house. Now to figure out the other one, uh, just like trash pickup and other utilities one second okay so i just had to figure that out anyway, so i just took i just took the utilities and the electric bill pretty much i just took that because i don't have records of like anything else <laughs> so uh, this one i'm not going to put anything because this would be like is if your home office was like a whole separate utility and it's not it's part of the same home at least in my expense in my situation so Okay, I'm actually not gonna put home repairs because I don't have any receipts okay. for that. So I didn't have this number, but I had to call my home insurance company and ask them how much I spent on insurance for 2019. That was like a long time that I took me. So, anyways, yeah, I spent that much money in home insurance for 2019, yeah. Okay, it took me a while to find all the receipts and whatever, but there was, uh, we had our carpets cleaned, so $290 was spent on that, and that was for the entire house. But it's cool because it will kind of, <clears throat> yeah, it will kind of like find the percentage, you know? So, yeah. Cool. Yeah, sweet. Let's do this. Okay, awesome. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <gasps> Yes, $266. Makes me so happy. Okay, so let's just recap that. I just finished. So I made that much, right? But then it's like, it deducted. Um, I'm actually recording. Sorry, got distracted. But anyways, I thought it was interesting that if you take your income that you made and you just like start getting uh, taking away, uh, how much did you spend on the home office, the communications, the supplies, the legal and professional fees, um, yeah, da, 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 to your comparison, qualified. Yeah, so, so it just drops how much you are going to be taxed. So, yeah, okay, they're gonna audit me. Your risk is low. Woohoo! <laughs> good, that's good, yeah. A vehicle? No, I didn't use my vehicle. Okay, so you can write off things for like um, meetups, but you have to be careful with that, you know? So like if you drove a long way for a meetup, that that actually would qualify, but I don't know. Meet up, meetups are kind of a weird thing. I don't know if they really are like, okay, but you know, they, they are. Yeah, if you spent money on the meetup, sure. <laughs> I just don't want to get audited, so I don't want them to be like, well, why did you go to the were you just hanging out with your friends? Like, what the heck? No, but yeah. Awesome. I'm so excited about this. Great news. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, cool. 
Anyways, yeah, this is how I usually do it. And I just saved myself a little bit of money. So it's pretty cool. Okay, I hope that helped.